Hey guys, Lego Craft here, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Generations. In the last episode, we finished off Sky Sanctuary, and in this episode, we are going to start to tackle the challenge gates. Oh my god! Right now, you have to complete one challenge gate in order to get the key. So you can complete any of these. Now there are a bunch of very different missions. Um, I'm only going to show off a few of them. I'm only going to do the ones I personally enjoy. And this is honestly one of the ones I, I like. Knuckles' Horde of Enemies. A horde of giant enemies will try to interfere with a, in your race with Knuckles. Now, this is, this is one of the character missions. Many people say these are the more interesting missions of the bunch. Personally, some of them are, some of them aren't. But they are definitely some of the most fun to play. Um, this is a race between Knuckles. You are in Green Hill Zone and all that awesome shiz. Now, Knuckles will try to dig through the floor and shiz. It's... It, I don't know if this takes place in the level, or it might just be slightly redesigned. But the di main difference is it takes place during sunset, and it also sports a terrible, and I repeat, horrid, terrible, ear-piercing remix of Supersonic Racing by Cash Cash. My god, this remix is terrible! Well, I know Cash Cash aren't singers, and anything they do instrumentally is pretty damn good. The only vocal things I really like are reach for the stars and speak with your heart but not so much speak with your heart but this this is a horrible horrible remix of this cash cash even or because it's auto-tuned even auto-tuned they cannot sing i am sorry cash cash but this is horrible i am deeply sorry for that but um yeah that's all i gotta say there are really big um bandits here that you actually can't stand on um, in the 3DS version, after you beat all the levels, I believe you don't have to do any challenge gates, but you just go straight to the boss gate instead, where there are two bosses, a rival and a and the um, area boss. We are in the classic area at the moment, and all that awesome shiz. Um, so, after you do that, we finish up with that. Now, these will probably be fairly long, because, well, will they be? I don't actually know, because I'm just going to go for as long as I need. I'm gonna see if I want to show off any a modern level here. Oh yeah, by the way, when you finish um, a bonus gate, then you'll get this bell. And if you get this bell, if you get a blue one, you unlock artwork. If you get a, a big gold one, you unlock alternate music. So if you want to get all the alternate music, you have to get the red rings, and you also have to get um, what do you have to get? Um, all you have to do all the challenge gates. And you can get the key there, but I do actually want to show this off because I really do find this fun to play. I may show off more than one challenge gate in an area only because i really do like these challenge gates they are some of them at least not all of them now like N knuckles is this is a race between tails this time he's in the tornado and this time we are modern sonic so we can boost this takes place in the 2d section the second 2d section of green hill pretty simple one and i recommend probably one of the ones you might want to try it because it's really simple um when when i first played the game the only mi missions i played were the doppelganger missions and the doppelganger missions i may show them off but um they're basically race you race um i believe just well i believe it's controlled and and i think it's um a run through by the um developers of the game or just ai but um they well you have to race a doppelganger sonic in for both classic and modern usually i did it for modern because i really just wanted to replay these levels because i loved them to death i didn't feel like playing any of these ones Partly because I really didn't give two shits. I'm not going to do, um... Well, if I ate something, I don't want to show off. I want to show off this. Whoosh! That's, this is the um, top path of Green Hill before we went the bottom path. It's not that different, but apparently the bottom path is shorter. But I just got the bottom path anyway in the normal level. Chickster! Boosht! Skadoosh! I'm not Cabana Mario 456. I just had to do that. Laffy was watching this right now, and then he just sued me. Nah, he... he He's a cool guy, come on, Mario 456. Uh, I haven't got much to say about these challenge gates. Personally, I do kind of... They are only here to drag out the game. And I mean only here, because if you... if you, I'm just going to... A little bit of spoilers. The three areas... Well, this was in, announced in the trailers, honestly. Um, The three areas, each with three... Each, each with three levels. One one representing a main series Sonic game. Oh, here we go, we got a golden one. We got Splash Hill Zone. Oh my god, if you hate Sonic 4, then you're going to commit suicide. Now, there's one of the um, boss gates. Now, for Chemical Plant, I don't actually believe there is a mission I like. Oh my god, who's that? I'm not going to talk about it. If I... Uh, do I want to show the... If I, yeah, I'm going to show the Classic Tales one off, because many people like that mission, so I'm going to show it off. 
Follow me. Oh, right, down here. Get down there. Now, um, if you played Sonic 3 and Knuckles 2 player, then you will know that Tails can pick you up. When I did my LP, I didn't do it 2 player because, one, if I could have done it 2 player, then it would have been a little bit more fun. It would have been a nice co-op run, and, but the thing is I can't get anyone to an emulator. Now here we have Classic Tails. To basically use these characters, you have to press the Y button. You press the Y button and you jump on him, you can get Tails to fly you around, which I find really nice. It's a pretty, it's, I do find this a really nice um, tribute to Sonic 3 and Knuckles because it's a pretty damn nice reference, Chemical Plant. Now, unlike that game though, Tails can fly forever, which you could say is a, th which is very thankful, but you could also say it's broken at the same time. Oh, I, you know, I really wish you could get Tails to catch you while you're in uh, mid-air. No, we're not getting hit. Oh, we did get hit anyway. My god, that sucks. <laughs> no, I was actually going to go for floor. I actually thought I'm going to go for floor. I run for every single level except the final level, but there, uh, you know. Well, the final level's not hard, it's just boring. For modern Sonic, at least. Not classic. Everyone hates classic, but I don't. That's because I like every... I like really obscure things. Like, I'm gonna get hated for this, but I'm not a fan of Mario Galaxy. Well, not Galaxy 1. Galaxy 2 I have a little bit more respect for, but as I've mentioned in the Sunshine Versus, I wholeheartedly prefer Sunshine. Now, let's look at this. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, I found out about that glitch recently, and my god, that is retarded. Now, here we have a bottomless pit, so make sure you don't jump off Tails or get Tails to drop you. So, yeah. if Also, in the top top right, you can see that S. To get an S rank for, for missions, you have to get under a time limit, so it doesn't really matter if you get hit. Oh, joy. Whoosh. Now, I don't... There's not much to say about this. Challenge gate... Yeah, like I was saying, the challenge gate to hate just to drag the game out. Because if you had just the three areas with the three levels and the bosses, this game would be far, far too short. And this game is far too short. It's... But... Oh my God. In fact, one thing I actually wholeheartedly would have preferred from the challenge gates is instead of taking place... Well, if it took place in the levels, then I... Well, because there's only one level represented in each game, I would have preferred it if... If there was a, if, maybe if the level, if, how do I explain this? Well, in Sonic 2, it'd be nice if there was a water level paying tribute to Aquatic Ruin. Well, like, the level gimmicks are in, like, Chemical Plant, like, Metropolis Zone, maybe. That would have been there, or stuff. Like, other levels, other levels being in that level. Or better yet, just have an, a level from the game. Like, I can't explain it here, but I'll definitely explain it in the Dreamcast area, which is the next area. There we have our second challenge game, and in fact... Uh, we've got time. I'm going to show off this boss because I like this. Metal Sonic. Face me if you wish to have the Chaos Emerald. That was a horrible interpretation of uh, Metal Sonic. But here we go. We're going to fight a boss. Now, Metal Sonic appeared in Sonic CD. And again, you will know of the, you will know of this. Except the level won't look familiar to you from Sonic's point of view. If you watch Tail CD, this will look instantly familiar to you. So anyway, once it loads, we will go into what is called a rival boss fight. So here we are, we are fighting Metal Sonic in Stardust Speedway, the bad future though. Which, is kind of odd, but in my Sonic CD run, I didn't fight, um, um, Metal Sonic in the bad future. Now, something that really sucks about boss fights and rival fights is they are pathetically easy. I'm not even lying, these bosses are pathetic. Even on hard mode, on hard mode, they're not even that hard. They're slightly, they were only time consuming. They're just ridiculous, especially the rival battle in the, in the Dreamcast area is actually offensive to me. Did I get hit? No, I didn't. Now, the Metal Sonic fight, you don't actually race him. It's it's kind of a race, but more or less you're just actually trying to hit him. Oh my god, I missed him. I think you have to hit him three or four times, I'm not sure. Now, you will spot three different phases that where he will, he will attack you. Don't fall too far behind, because if so, then you will die. See if you can get on here, and if he gets ahead of you, then just pull behind him, like that. Then eventually he will run out of stuff. Oh my god, no! Yeah, there we go. Wow, that was absolutely retarded. Falcon kick! And I love how he's still flying in the air. Gravity does. See, Sonic can defy gravity at will. That's funny. 
And to my knowledge, we got an S rank. Now that was the first of the rival fight. Oh my god, he just went through the floor. Wow. That's funny. Now yeah, that's what I mean. These these bosses are pathetic. And it's it's actually offensive. I am sorry, but I find them offensive. Uh, sorry about that, but Because, you know, some of the boss fights in Sonic games are not particularly easy, but, you know. Now we've got a Chaos Emerald. You, get, you can get Chaos Emeralds by beating rival fights and boss fights. And stuff like that. Now, um, I'm going to go into this area next. I don't know which mission I... I'm definitely not doing the Knuckles mission. Definitely not doing the Knuckles mission. I'm never going to do the... I think... The, uh, no, there's one mission I would like to do here. This one. Aerial Paradise, I think it was called. Yeah, Aerial Paradise. Now, I do love this mission because it's Sky Sanctuary, but it takes place at night, and it looks beautiful, which I do like. I do like how certain level the levels do take place at night. Now, what I did mean by the um, mission thing, because I can kind of explain it here, is, well, if instead of taking place, maybe one could take place in Sky Sanctuary, but the rest of them should have been, like, on the other levels, so maybe one could take place in Lava Reef, one in Angel Island, one in, uh, maybe Mushroom Hill, oh, Flying Battery. Flying Battery would have been great for this, or even Death Egg, just, like, doing just doing a mission there, and they each spot a remix, or better yet, make them take place inside a Sky Sanctuary. Just, like, have Sky Sanctuary there, but have lava around in it and stuff, just so it can pay tribute to levels like that. That would have been a great way to keep more levels in the game. Or, better yet, scrap the side missions and add more levels for a game. Preferably two or three levels per game. It's even more pathetic in the 3DS version because they only have seven. It's like... I'm not going to really spoil the 3DS version because I haven't actually played it. I've only watched an LP by Kabana Money 456 it looks alright, but the level design looks lazy as fudge. But the soundtrack, holy crap, that is a fantastic soundtrack. Even, I actually think it's even better than this version. Yeah, sue me, but I actually do prefer the 3DS's soundtrack, only because of a couple tracks. Though I do find the modern area classic tracks lazy because they aren't even remixed. It's retarded. Um, oh my god, I almost got hit. I do like this level, and with that, we finish the level with an S rank. Which is pretty damn good. And you know, with that, I do think we have all three keys. If not, then I'll make sure to go get them again. Uh, before we head off to um, the boss, I do have a few things to do first. Oh my god, I need to get this. I need to get this. Nah. You got Toxic Caves from Sonic Spinball for the Mega Drive or the Genesis version. Whatever you want to call it. Get that, please. See, if I had a normal Sonic Jump, I would be able to get that. Now we've collected all the boss keys and we can go head to the boss gate. So, um, we'll do that in the next episode. Or the episode after that. Anyway, I'm Negative Craft. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Generations. See you then.